All right. Okay, so, um, so just the spotlight, uh, whatever, are we recording right now? Uh, yeah, whenever you're ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello there, and welcome to Invasion of the Podcasters. With us is Gilbert, JP, myself, Matt, and filling in for Joseph is Zach. Say hi, Zach. Hello there, people. Yeah. Um, we're going to do a uh, recap on our last fight, the uh, nostalgia battle with uh, the... Saturday morning cartoon characters fighting it out. Uh, last time we had Panthro, Tigro of the Thundercats left, um, Donatello, Leonardo of the Ninja Turtles, a untouched Captain Planet with buttload of planeteers, and um, <laughs> an incapacitated Alf and a digesting Snarf. Um, <laughs> So basically, we couldn't figure out how uh, the remaining Thundercats and the remaining Ninja Turtles would beat Captain Planet. So, well, yeah. I'm just saying, since this battle is still technically happening, Melmac was the planet's name. So, do I get the planet now? No. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or the shot. Yeah. But yeah. So, there you go, JP. Yes. You won one. Yes. Yep. Captain Done. Planet. Recycle. Go green and Captain yeah. Planet will win. Yeah. yeah. Still too cool for that cartoon. Yeah. I want to know the outcome of Alf and Snarf. <laughs> <laughs> what ended up happening there? Yeah. It was just like, Snarf, Snarf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, on this one, we're going to be talking about the Evil Dead movie that just came out. Um, we're going to do a review on Injustice Gods Among Us, an awesome video game. And we're going to do a fight between, uh, well, originally we were going to do it with Solomon Grundy of the DC Comics, um, the Evil Dead, Deadites, the recent ones, or the Monster Squad, uh, which is an 80s uh, movie featuring basically uh, the Goonie Kids and Universal Studio Monsters. But what we're going to do is we're going to do like a little uh, segment about Solomon Grundy. I'm just going to talk about what I think about the character and why is he so awesome. But uh, because he's evil poetry. Yeah, yeah. So I take it everyone saw Evil Dead. What's everyone's thoughts? Jay, you actually saw it? Yeah, I went and saw it. Uh, okay, I don't like horror movies to begin with. Um, especially supernatural horror movies because right. I have a wild imagination and I get scared easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cartoons after always help. Yeah, 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 exactly. But this one was okay for me to see because if I went to this cabin in real life with my friends and we found a creepy book in the basement, just leave it there and go away. Done. No, no <laughs> monsters are going to follow you. No yeah, spirits yeah, going to yeah, attack yeah. you. Barbed wire and human skin should be a deterrent of all books. Right, exactly. Well, so Also, well, too, that it, makes you want to read it more. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wouldn't bring Gil with me. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, it's like, if I'm going in the middle of the woods in this cabin, and I'm going there because my sister is going into rehab, we're trying to, like, wean her off of, like, heroin or whatever she was on, I'm going to go there by myself first or with like a friend to cl make sure that the cabin's like clean and like sanitary, you know, like just ahead of time. You know, we're, we're, we're going to spend a day cleaning the cabin out, making it suitable for my sister. And we're not going to go there the day of and then be like, oh, some kids like broke in. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll sleep over there. Well, I thought the whole entire <laughs> yeah. purpose was that for her to keep her mind off things was to help fix up the cabin and all this other crap, too, wasn't it? Well, how's she going to do anything when she's going through detox, though, the next day? Yeah, she's just yeah. going to be like, well, I hate this place and everything smells like dead cats. And that's another thing, too. <laughs> like, there, there are all these dead cats in the bottom of the basement, you know. That's not sanitary. That's, Leave. That's... Obviously, some, you know, even if, like, okay. You know what You know what trips me out about that is that dude cleaned it up with his bare hands. And I'm like, S screw yeah, that, nasty. man. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't touching that. Give me some gloves. Uh, cat AIDS. Yeah, like, okay, it, day one, 
You find the dead cats. You find this book that's like wrapped up in barbed wire and in a plastic bag. Leave. Yeah. Just leave. You, you don't need to stay there. <laughs> You know, take her to a Holiday Inn, you know? Exactly. Like, uh, oh, that, oh, okay, your Decox is going to be at a Holiday Inn now instead of a cabin in the middle of the woods. Like, you know, sorry. You know, we're all going to live. Got to stick to the plan, man. Yeah. But, I mean, other than that, I, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was um, a good homage or a tribute to the original uh, Evil Dead franchise. Uh, I don't disagree with that. I, I mean, I absolutely loved it. Um, horrifying wise, I mean, I, I guess you can say it was horrifying. Scary, nah, not at all. Like it, it, it ran the basic horror movie, you know, right. guidebook. One, one of the things I liked about it is it didn't have any of those cheap like uh, suspense scares, you know, where like it, it cuts to like activity. It, yeah, what, or what was it? You'll um, be focused on something that's like really quiet and creepy and then it'll uh cut to say like a mundane object that's making a lot of noise like a blender or something yeah. where it startles you yeah it wasn't exactly the music or the door slamming it was actually the well, graphic horror yeah like, well, the arms falling well, it off. was it was it was the sound that got me like before they even show the graphic horror oh, when yeah. um the when the chick's nurse, like cutting her face off yeah the nurse is like oh. uh just, just gouging her face yeah, apart as, as soon as i heard that noise i'm like i'm like oh please don't show that please don't show that because it, it just sounds so rancid to begin with <laughs> right right because your your imagination is you know yeah, filling in the blank it was way worse <laughs> than my imagination had filled in you know <laughs> and i was like oh my god like i actually like i mean i never like turned away or like got grossed out but i mean they had my hands up to my face and i'm like <laughs> i'm like oh shit that's nasty yeah um i remember there was this guy sitting next to me and he he kept on like having his hand to his face and he was like oh shit oh shit yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that was, that was i was like three seats away from me i was like that dude i had my leg up like this like i'm like I'm a pissing <laughs> yeah. dog i was like oh man that's nasty it just the sound the sound is what was what got me i mean they were they did really well with right because yeah, you guys are right. They didn't do that cheap horror crap where yeah. like some quiet scene and all of a sudden bang, you know. Yeah. They they always let up to yeah something gross is gonna happen, mm -hmm. you know. And, and that's the thing is that um, you don't get a lot of good traditional horror movies anymore. You have like the paranormal activity that rely solely on the audience's imagination. Yeah. That's good sometimes. That's good to do that like you know progressively throughout the film, but don't just rely on that and don't make five films over it yeah yeah, yeah. or four whatever the hell they made I think I, they're it, making five yeah they, yeah yeah I don't, I don't need to see a field of old ladies no, yeah you know, it's definitely something night vision <laughs> um but uh i one of the things i really liked about it was um if you're an evil dead fan and you pay attention to the film, there's a ton of little Easter eggs in the movie. There's like Sam Raimi's car. There's, um, I think Mia is wearing a Michigan State sweater. And there, it, um, oh, and you gotta stay till the end. You have to stay till the end of the movie. You have to stay till the end of the credits. If you're a huge, oh, yeah, you're dead. Yeah, if you're otherwise, huge, you're gonna go like, what the hell? Like, who's that? that? Yeah, I don't understand. He wasn't in here. the movie. Yeah, so. What's but. so groovy? <laughs> <laughs> but um i i would give this movie like you know five out of five in my opinion as far as like for what it was going for for what it was doing for what it was going for it's a traditional scary horror movie yeah um, um well i mean what i loved about it i mean these actors i don't even know who they are i mean they're just out of nowhere uh their acting at the beginning to me was kind of like uh it might be a little corny mm -hmm. but they sold the fear they sold that uh, possession. Oh. They sold everything. You know how hardcore was that one guy that just kept on getting stabbed <laughs> oh, yeah. and like just, beat up? Yeah, like okay, so he got stabbed with a piece of glass. He got stabbed with a, needle, a syringe, syringe that he had yeah. to pull out from under his eye. He got beat with a crow crowbar. crowbar. Got beat with, with a crowbar. Hand. He got shot, shot with a nail nails. gun. <laughs> and then what killed him off was he finally got stabbed with like an exact blade yeah like Body i thought this guy might have ended up being like the new ash oh no i, I thought the same thing and yeah i, was, I remember I, you saying that yeah because like, my thing was like 
And then, you know, honestly, I was, I was still surprised who they got as a new Ash. You know, after the movie was over, I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But I thought the brother, I was like, okay, it's kind of be a cop out if he's the new Ash. I don't oh, know. Yeah, I'm David. not liking that. I think his name was David. Yeah. And then the, the, the teacher dude, I'm like, okay, well, this guy's has the merits to be yeah. right ash he, he's gotten he's, messed up enough and he's <laughs> keeps on <laughs> ticket yeah you know it's like it's like that's ash man ash i mean watch army of darkness he gets beat up throughout most of that movie and he oh, still yeah, keeps yeah. on going you know so i'm like well yeah. also also too um in the original i was it the original it was ash that actually uh was that your phone no <laughs> <laughs> that was not it was uh ash that actually pager reads the um necronomicon and yeah. he's the one that starts all that stuff going on so i was thinking like oh okay maybe that's the angle they're yeah. going with it kind of like paying homage to the original yeah i mean yeah, yeah and that, that's what it came down to you know and then uh but it, it was a total surprise oh, the, at the end when the uh know. the girlfriend she like cuts her arm off i was like oh. okay this is very reminiscent that's, yeah that's and then i'm I like too. okay Ashley cut it off his hand off at the wrist. This girl cut almost her whole arm off. Yeah. You know that part made me laugh so freaking hard because uh, the the little demonic sister is like, "Oh, bitch, don't cut that off. No, leave it there." <laughs> yeah. And like to be honest, like, dude, that's so awesome. Like it, it just the little the little little snippets of what they say to each other. It's right. like yeah. it's random, it's stupid, but it's awesome. It works. You know, it's creepy. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was definitely that. Um, I think the most shocking or the one that I cringed the most on scene was uh, when the girl in the basement ends up cutting her tongue in half. Yeah. I was like, ooh, <laughs> ah, oh, that is just, no, not mouth, ow. But, um, no, I really liked it. I really liked it. I will definitely go see it again and definitely own it on uh, possibly Blu-ray. So uh, I'm definitely getting that on 3D Blu-ray. Yeah, so I definitely recommend it if you're a horror movie fan, if you're an Evil Dead fan. Um, if you're none of those things, don't watch it. Yeah, don't even bother with it. You're yeah. probably going to throw it it, It's not what I would say a scary movie, but it is a yeah. gory movie. Yeah, yeah it's, it's extremely graphic. Um, I heard stories that people that, like actually pissed themselves in the theater because it got so really? so rancid and... It creeped them out that much. Wow. Now I I mean I don't know how true these stories are. But See that's that I, that's so odd to me because I grew up watching horror movies at a very young age. You know I grew up watching like you know The Thing, uh, Pumpkinhead. Ah, oh, Pumpkinhead was yeah, cool. Pumpkinhead. Yeah. No, I mean I did too. I mean I mean by sh time I was five, I was yeah. falling asleep to uh, to The Exorcist. That was like my bedtime oh, story. You know. Right. So I, I just got done watching Sinister. And oh, nice. the, the movie, I, I didn't think I'm it was a bad movie, but I, I like the mythology of um, the villain, the, the ghost or the demon, um, the ghoul. Okay. The uh, mythology I thought was really interesting. The scariest part in the whole movie to me, where I was like, oh no, is when the little girl paints on the wall the other little girl she paints on the wall and the mom and the dad are mad and they're like why'd you do this and the little girl's like oh this is the little girl who used to live here it's the one that dad's writing about <laughs> and then the mom like just looks at the dad like oh you son of a bitch and i'm like oh she knows you're in so much trouble dude oh my god like i i just i didn't even want to watch it anymore i'm like oh she's gonna be so mad at him that was the scariest thing <laughs> and for those who I haven't watched it yet the truth is that was the scariest part of the movie yeah, it, 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 <laughs> anyone that's in a relationship knows yeah, that that well, little girl just called his dad out and or threw him out. under the bus yeah <laughs> and, and you know there's a, be, a, a price to pay for that and oh yeah it's, a, it's yeah. a scary thought I, I'm surprised they didn't get a divorce right there <laughs> uh, because okay so the reason why it's scary is because the dad is lying to the wife that saying like, oh yeah, we're we're not in the same neighborhood where you know this death occurred. She's like, do you promise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not down the block. Nope. <laughs> Instead, it, he you know he doesn't tell her that they're living in the same house where yeah. this family was murdered. And um, even the police officer, he says, uh, you haven't told your wife. She doesn't know. And he's like, no. Oh, that's a conversation I wouldn't want to be a part of. <laughs> but yeah, um, dude, those clips in the basement though. 
Oh, yeah, like yeah. Like, the lawnmower over the face after 15 seconds of, like, staring at grass. Well, I thought that was startling, but I don't know if I would say that was scary. <laughs> the, the creepiness no. of seeing the, the girl and stuff inside the tree, though. Yeah. That okay, family was hung there? The, the, 